again shopping my stash and showing you things that you have never seen on my channel before but I keep them because they're good and I'm going to show them to you right now. Hi friends, a while back I did a video where I showed you makeup that I never show on my channel and I was questioning myself, why do I never show this makeup on my channel? Well, a couple of things. Sometimes it is really expensive makeup that I feel like I'm trying to dupe for you guys because it's that good. Sometimes it's makeup like Charlotte Tilbury that I keep for dupable purposes, not because necessarily that I love it, but because I know that people love Charlotte Tilbury and that they are wanting dupes for them. And then I also have things that I just absolutely adore. And yes, most of them are high end, but keep in mind that I am looking for dupes all the time. So if you have a dupe that you know of or that you have heard of, will you let me know and then I'll test it and I'll bring it to everybody. That would be great. The first one is one that came out last year and everybody was talking about it. And I thought, you know what? I need to have that. I've got to see what the hype is all about. And let me get my special spectacles on. It is the D Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This one I think was a limited edition. It's the rose gold. This is a nice palette. I like it, but I do feel like it is very overhyped. A couple of the colors are fantastic. They don't have any extra sparkle or anything in them, but there are a couple of colors that do have some extra little fine glitter in them, but it is a beautiful palette. I did like the colors. You're not going to be able to see those very well. And here's the other thing for this being such a high-end palette, this happened. One of the pans came out. I haven't had a chance to glue it back in for a year, <laughs> but I did hear from a lot of people that that was happening. So I feel like come on, you know, why are we doing that? If, you know, it's so high end, let's find some glue that'll work, you know, and keep that in the palette, but they are pretty and they are very pretty on your cheeks. I will either swirl them all together or I'll just go across the two this way that don't have any reflex in them or the little specks of glitter in them. It's very micro fine. So if you're completely against glitter, you might not really like any of the backstage palettes that are the glow. But if you don't mind just those teeny tiny little flecks, then I think you'll like this. And the formula is really good too. Another one that I've had forever that I keep trying and trying and trying to find a dupe for is from MAC. And this is one of their highlighters as well. I love these highlighters. This is the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Oh, the color is double gleam. So it's the highlighter that's the extra dimension skin finish. And this one is absolutely beautiful. I do feel like there are a couple of dupes out there, but the formula is not only is it super high beam, as you can see right there, but it's kind of just super duper light. You don't need very much. If you're going to put it on top of your makeup, you don't need very much at all. Look at, wow, it's so high beam. I love it for that, but at the same time, it can get away from you if you're not careful. So this is a beautiful formula and yes, I am always trying to dupe that. Another MAC product that I absolutely adore. I don't remember if this is called Dazzle Gloss or not. I will probably have to throw that up on the screen for you, but this is in Oyster Girl. This is got all kinds of reflex of different colors in it and it's just a beautiful topper for just about any lip look you have, especially if you want there to be extra dimension. And oh my goodness, I love this stuff. I wear it all the time and I have been looking and looking and looking for a dupe for this. Haven't found one yet because not only is it this sheer peak pinky peach color, but the formula of it is so nice. It's heavy enough that it sticks around, but it's light enough that it doesn't feel sticky. And yeah, I really, really love that. Another product that I really love that I've never shown are these shadow sticks from Mally. Sometimes you can get them in a bunch, which is what I think I did this time. And then sometimes you can get them in kits where they're single along with other things. They're wonderful about how long they last and they're so pigmented and pretty. I've been wearing them for a long time, but I forgot how nice they are and just kind of stuck them in the back of the drawer because there's always so much to 
you know explore and review for you guys that's coming out new but these are really they're really nice they really are budge proof once you get them on and the colors are so good she gave you a lot of cool colors in here which i think are great and once this sets down you have about i don't know about a minute to work with them but once they set down they set down so nicely and they are there all day long you know as a bundle they may seem expensive but you break them down and they're almost drugstore prices but the colors they're so rich but they're muted enough that they work so good on your eyes. They remind me of a very inexpensive version of Laura Mercier, not a cheap version because they perform just like that, but the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, these are every bit as good. And I think that if you've been wanting something like this, they're really great. And they're so pretty when you blend them out and easy to blend out too, because they're super creamy. Also the lippy liners from ColourPop, I think are so good. They just are so buttery and so creamy and you can fill in your lips and use them as a lipstick, a matte lipstick, or you can use them as your lip liner. This one is called Cool BFF and I have it swatched right here. It is not cool by any means. I consider it kind of a neutral, almost leaning towards warm. But as, as fall comes around, I do like sometimes to have that medium kind of nude look on my lips and that is what this is so our lip liners are super inexpensive and they are just really good so give those a try if you've been thinking about them and then it cosmetics has their bye bye pores illumination pressed powder this is a really beautiful powder and it's very light and it's very airy and it is one that won't put a lot down on your skin. However, I do feel like that if you're a mature woman, don't try using this as your dusting powder all over. Be strategic about it. Maybe use it, you know, on your high points of your face because it does have that illumination property and it's quite bright. It's not like glowing or beaming. It's just kind of it's a, like a medium, so it's like a satin. They wouldn't want it to be all over because it's gonna make you look too shiny, too disco volley. but it is a beautiful formula and strategically placed, it can be absolutely a beautiful glow. When I say that, I'm talking about, you know, maybe just on, you know, the middle of the forehead there, down the nose, and again, you can use it on your cheeks, of course, but it's a pretty powder that I break out when I want to look extra glowy, extra finished without, it looking like I've got grease everywhere. It's really a pretty powder. But again, like I said, I make sure that I'm very strategic with where I put that. Another product that I got from Target. This is Ar from Arches and Halos. It is a brow product and it says it's a professional brow micro microfiber tinted brow mousse. I believe this one is in taupe. Let me look here. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's neutral brown. I love how tiny this little wand is. I love that it has fibers in it. Sorry about whatever's on my hand there. I also like that it really catches all of my little hair that I do have on this side. It's very sparse, but it does catch it and it makes it look a little bit more voluminous. Um, as far as holding, this isn't the greatest for holding your brows in place, but boy, if you have brows that are a little bit sparse, but you do have some natural brows there this is really going to build it up and they're going to look really pretty and fluffy and then this is a product that i'm not sold on this is the charlotte tilbury this is her bronze and glow film star bronze and glow palette i like this but again this is only here because i want to dupe it and the difference in this and other products that are bronzers and this glow is that the, it's really subtle. It's very, very subtle. The bronzer is light and that's nice about it, but it is a little bit more along the lines of very warm. So be aware of that. And then the highlight really isn't a highlight. I would say that it's just more of a brightening powder. So I think I like the brightening powder better than I like the actual bronzer in here. So I use this occasionally, very occasionally, because it's just not my favorite thing. And I wanted to bring it to you and show you guys because I have been throwing in a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury here and there for you guys to see because I just 
personally don't buy into all of the hype about Charlotte Tilbury, even though I think that she does have a lot of great products. I still think there are a lot of great products that are very, very affordable out there. And this is one of those that I keep trying to dupe and I will find a dupe eventually really close with the Essence Duo Contour. But yeah, this is one that I wanted to show you that I wasn't like sold on. The Wanderlust Buxom Primer Infused Blushes. I got this because I wanted to see what all the hype is because it was all over the place. And I got mine in the color Ibiza. I think that's how you say it. It probably isn't. Somebody will tell me. It's a pretty bright pink color, but these are the most cheek hugging blushes I think I've ever used. They have that primer in them so they stay on all day and you can tell that that is super saturated, but you don't have to use that much. You can really sheer it out and you know your brush would really um, sheer it out, but it they're very, very beautiful blushes. They stay on your cheeks all day. They don't move around. And I feel like e.l.f. did a pretty good job with their primer infused ones, but they're still not quite this level because the e.l.f. ones, they do wear off faster than these do. So if you've been wondering about these, I can give my, you know, flying okie dokie and you can pick one up if, if it's something that might be in your budget. They're really good blushes. And I think that's it for today. I do have quite a few more here in this box that I, I would love to show you, but I think I'm going to save those for another video. I love showing you these because some of them are really, really good products, but I'm always trying to bring you the very best of the drugstore or very best of affordable. So they don't always make it onto camera, but I do want to tell you that they are good and they are worth the money. Some of them aren't just like that Charlotte Tilbury that I did show you, but I want to show you that as well. Hopefully Hopefully this was a little bit helpful if there were any of those on your radar that you were thinking about getting that you might want to pick up. Let me know in the comment section if there are high-end products that you think are absolutely worth it and you would not be without it. I love hearing about those as well. Thanks guys so much for spending a part of your day with me. Please take care of yourselves. I will catch you all in my very next video and I love you much. Goodbye.